To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in NaBH4, this is sodium borohydrate. We'll use these rules here. This is a bit of a tricky one. First thing to notice is there's no negative or positive sign after the compound. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. That's important to know. Next, sodium, that's in group one, so it has a plus one oxidation state. Boron, let's skip the boron here and let's look at the hydrogen. Because as we go down in our rules, we see hydrogen, that actually is when it's bonded to metals or boron. We'll have a negative one for its oxidation state. So we have four of these negative one hydrogens. For the boron, let's just call that X because now we have enough information to figure out what its oxidation number is. Because we know that if we add all these up, they should equal zero. So we have one plus X minus the one times four, because we have four hydrogens here, that'll equal zero. So X minus three equals zero. X is going to equal a positive three. So the oxidation number for the boron here in sodium borohydrate, that's gonna be a positive three. And if we multiply four times the negative one, plus three plus one, that's gonna equal the zero because this is a neutral compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.